President Mohamed Buhari has called on developed and developing nations to grant duty-free and quarter-free market access for products to the world's 46 least developed countries in a bid to ensure their integration into regional and globe global value chains. Buhari made the call at the 5th United Nations Conference on Least Developed Countries in Doha, Qatar. Speaking on the theme from potential to prosperity, Buhari underscored the need for reforms of the international financial architecture that prioritizes the need of least developed countries. There's more details in this next report. Managing their time. Recognizing the plight of least developed countries and the need to ensure their effective participation in the world trading system are at the heart of discussion at this UN conference. As part of measures to improve their trading opportunities, world leaders are seeking urgent and robust assistance to help unlock the potential of least developed countries and build socio-economic resilience. According to President Mohamed Buhari, this assistance can be provided within the framework of the Doha Program of Action, which is designed to help LDCs exit their current classification. The least developed countries are often faced with developmental vulnerabilities and challenges that are not always of their making. These pose huge obstacles to their development efforts, hence the need for urgent and robust assistance to help unlock their potential and build socio-economic resilience. This assistance can be provided within the framework of the Doha Program of Action, which is designed to help least developed countries exit their current classification. President Buhari also listed some measures that will help LDCs recover from COVID-19, achieve sustainable development goals, develop and prosper over the long term. Coronavirus has taught us that we must all work together to ensure that diseases do not thrive in the least developed countries due to their overall negative impact on productivity and economic growth and development. Accordingly, policy and budgetary provisions must be made to ensure equal access to Medicare and vaccines for the poor and the rich alike. On his part, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Oyema, called for UN reforms on United Nations on peace and security, development and human rights. The impact of the instability uh, in, uh, in Libya and how the um, you know small arms and light weapons uh, that are proliferating uh, in the uh, in the subregion uh, is really impacting adversely uh, all the countries uh, of the subregion. And uh, he briefed Mr. President on the efforts that they were making to um, to stabilize the situation in Chad. Uh, there, are, he said that there are about 50. Um, military groups, political groups, and that out of the 50, 40 of them have now joined the peace process, transition process, that there were still 10, and that, um, you know, he's still talking to them, and hopefully they will soon join the transition uh, process. The Doha Program of Action for the Least Developed Countries for the decade 2022 to 2031 manifests a new generation of renewed and strengthened commitment between the least developed countries and their developed partners, including the private sector, civil society and government at all levels. Simisola Adjukun, TV360, Lagos.